girls. <clears throat> Today we're going to be talking about a book called Howard B. Wigglebottom Learns to Listen. The reason we're going to read this book is because we are, our lesson for this week is how did we fix our problem and what is the moral of the story? And I thought this was a good book to read this week because I know sometimes when we're at home and we get a little stir crazy and sometimes it's hard to listen to your mom, your dad, your babysitters, grandmas, grandpas, whoever you're with. So <clears throat> this book is called Howard B. Wigglebottom Learns to Listen. Meet Howard B. Wigglebottom. Howard is always in trouble at school. Well, because Howard just doesn't listen. Sometimes we have a hard time listening too. Even teachers have a hard time focusing sometimes. During story time, instead of quietly listening, Howard bounces around the room. Howard B. Wigglebottom, please sit down quiet and please sit down, be quiet and listen. But Howard doesn't listen. Do you ever feel that way when you're someone's talking or the teacher or your mom or your dad and you just can't sit still and we're just having a hard time listening? Well, so does Howard. He has a hard time listening too. Howard B. Wigglebottom, you are bouncing too close to the fan, but Howard doesn't listen. Hey, Howard, watch your step. At lunchtime, his friends try to warn him but Howard doesn't listen. So just from reading the story so far, what do you think the problem is? I think Howard isn't listening and because he's not listening, look, he's hurting himself, he's getting in trouble, he's not paying attention. This is a big problem. Blah, 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 blah. After lunch, Howard's friend tries to tell him something important, but Howard doesn't listen. On the playground, Howard's teammates try to help him. Keep your eye on the ball, Howard. Bonk, right in his head. But Howard doesn't listen. So remember that if we don't listen, sometimes we need to listen to our families, our teachers, our people that are with us so that we don't get hurt and that we don't have this happen to us. In the art room, the teacher reminds the class, kids try to keep the paint on the paper but Howard doesn't listen. So the teacher asked him to take a time out. Now I want you to think back. Have you ever have been asked to do something by your teacher, your mom, your dad, someone, and you didn't listen and they asked you over and over? And did you have to take a time out? How did that make you feel? Because I know when I've had that happen, when I was a kid, it made me feel really sad and think about my choices on what I should do. He feels sad. Howard does not like being alone and in trouble. He thinks and he thinks all day. Howard makes up his mind. From, mo from this moment on, he will try very hard to be the best listener he can be. The next day, Howard does not, does listen during story time and he waits for his turn to talk and then he asks a teacher about the story. That, you think that might be good listening skills? Yes, I think so. Howard gets a big star because Howard's really listening. While, tight, while walking home, Howard uses both his eyes and his ears to help him stay safe. Howard is really listening. Now what happened when Howard was listening? What did he get? He got a star for really good listening. And so when you do good things and you're listening and following directions, you get rewarded and he got a star for it. Please hang up your backpack and clean up your room now. When Howard gets home, he listens to his mother. Howard is really listening. Okay, mom. Awesome ears, Howard. So Howard gets extra time to play outside and have fun. Time for a bedtime story. Please brush your teeth first, Howard. Howard B. Wigglebottom is really listening. Almost all of the time. Now I want you to think about that story and I want you to think to yourself, do you ever have a hard time listening? What is the moral of the story? Think about that. The moral of the story is that if I'm a good listener and I do what I'm told or I'm, or I'm a good helper, 
I get rewarded for that. But if I'm not listening and I keep doing whatever I want to do, and then what happens? Then I get in trouble, then I get things taken away, then I might go on time out. So these are things to remember when you are at home and it might be hard to stay at home with everybody in your house or your brothers and sisters. So just remember, try your hardest to be a good listener and try your hardest to be nice and share and think about those things and think about Howard. How do you think Howard feels when he got in trouble? When, you're, when you've gotten in trouble for not listening, how did it make you feel? So try to go back and think about those things when you're making your choices and when you're at home. So it's just how to be a good listener and I want you guys to remember that when you are reading your books, when you are at home during this time. So just remember, and how did he fix the problem? The problem was he wasn't listening and he got in trouble. How did he fix that? He started listening and he got rewarded and told what a great job he was doing. Thanks so much, boys and girls. I hope you enjoyed the story.